everyone. Thanks for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you. Thanks for your continuous support and thanks for always staying tuned to our channel. Thank you so much. You're simply the best. Um, we are here to keep you updated with the latest and most reliable um, happenings in our country. The one we have um, is coming right from Edo State. We all know what's going on in Edo State at the moment as per the governorship election with the primary same just um, around the corner. The APC um, National Working Committee and the National Leader of the All Progressive Congress as well, they've just um, inaugurated a committee, a screening committee. I don't know what they are up to. We'll find out in a moment. And they are stating that this committee is going to screen all of the six governorship aspirants under the umbrella of um, the All Progressive Congress. We'll find out uh, more details in a moment. But before we do, guys, if you haven't yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. So, guys, right, let's get more details um, about um, what the National Working Committee and the National Chairman, what they are up to. Edo 2020, APC and List Varsity don't lawyers to screen Obaseki, Ize Iyamu, and others. The National Leadership of the All Progressive Congress, APC, has set up a committee to screen its governorship aspirants in Edo State, declaring that without prejudice to the work of the committee and that of the screening appeal panel, the National Working Committee has the final say with regards to the fate of the aspirants. According to the party, the Screening and Appeals Committee, which consists of academics, lawyers, and politicians, would help to forestall a repeat of the Bielsa experience, where it lost its mandate due to alleged discrepancies in the certificates of the party's deputy governorship candidate. Inaugurating both committees on Tuesday at the party's national secretariat in Abuja, its national chairman, Comrade Adam Soshomole, said, while the screening committee would act as the High Court, the Appeals Committee at the Appellant Court, the National Working Committee would act as the Supreme Court. Said the NWC can reject the screening result. Screening Committee is High Court. Appeal Committee, Appeal Court, and the NWC, the Supreme Court. Oshomole again expressed misgiving at the Supreme Court judgment which disqualified the APC deputy governorship candidate for Bielsa after having been sworn in as a senator of the Federal Republic. According to him, the Bielsa experience was partly responsible for the decision of the party hierarchy to display the credentials of all the aspirants at the National Secretariat so that people can file in their claims and objections to assist the committees. After intensive consultations, we decided to have people who in our own judgment are sound and when they go through this process, their recommendations will be very helpful. Under our rules, we are expected to set up a screening committee before every election. The responsibility of the screening committee is to interact with all those who have aspirations to context. Strictly speaking, not yet aspirants. You become an aspirant after the screening committee has passed you. If anybody is disqualified with the screening committee's recommendation, he or she will file an appeal and it will be forwarded to the appeals committee. And after that, they will make a final recommendation to the National Working Committee that has the final decision as to who is eligible or who is not eligible. In the past, we have always performed this role but maybe we did not give it the appropriate weight. Maybe we had assumed that people who want to aspire to certain offices, particularly high elective offices of executive governor, we expected that no one would submit documents containing information that may possibly lead to disqualification. In the past, this was more of a formality, but with what happened to us in Bielsa State earlier this year, we decided to approach the issue of screening much more easily than ever before. I want to encourage you to take this exercise very seriously. I am sure you can imagine how we felt as a party when after we've won an election, there was no question. In fact, it was the best election ever conducted in Bielsa State. No violence. 
People voted but we lost it because the deputy's governor, according to the Supreme Court, had contradictions in his document and so we lost it. So, the screening is not a formality and we expect you to be very meticulous in every material particular to protect our party so that let it not be said that we did not learn anything from Bielsa. As you know, sometimes when things go wrong, everybody sees it that NWC did not do a thorough job. So people personalize it saying, if the chairman was thorough, if he had done his job, this would not happen, but this is the price of leadership. For me, the important lesson is, if we have made a mistake in the past, are we taking the step to correct it? I think this is what this exercise represents. So we'll give you copies of our party's constitution, for that is the primary contract among members of the APC. The constitution is the basis of our actions. We'll make it available to you and would we'll also make it available to you the guidelines that have been developed for the purpose of conducting primaries. I trust that given the caliber of your persons that you would help the party to do a thorough job as to protect us as an institution from any possible judicial reversal of anything arising from the process, Oshomole added. While he named Professor Jonathan Ayuba as chairman, screening committee Professor Abu Bakar Fari will chair the appeals committee. Other members of the screening committee are Professor Agbo Madaki, Honorable Ibrahim Zelani, Senator Ashatu Dahiri, Ahmed Binani, Dr. Jane Francis Agbu, Honorable Fort Dick, and Dr. Rabe Nasi, who would serve as secretary. For the appeals committee, Members are Professor Sadiq Abba, Barista Benga Olubanjo, Mohamed Idris, Esther Pebe, and Barista Daniel Balwa, who would serve as secretary. Wow, this is getting more tense and more tense and more tense. We all know that um, just yesterday here, the court decided uh, that um, no mode of primary should be conducted. Nobody should decide on any mode of primary until um, they visit this case. And the court adjourned the case for the 11th of um, June. We know the primaries itself is for the 22nd of June. What is going on in those states, people? What is really going on? This election is um, just around the corner. And um, what Oshomale has done right away, he has set up a committee. And who are the members of the committee? I don't know this, this, all these people he's stated here. Are they his personal, um, personal, personal person? You, you get what I mean? So are they going to just screen out the other aspirants in favor of his aspirant? Are they going to do things fairly? And are they not? Are they going to be um, free from bias and any kind of um, judgmental uh, uh, um, attitude towards all the aspirants? We know they have um, six aspirants at the moment who are uh, pursuing this um, ticket, the APC ticket for the Edo state. We'll see how this plays out. Um, obviously, that is one thing Obaseki was um, clamoring about. His concern was that um, Oshomole, being the chairman of the National um, um, the All Progressive Congress, he has a lot, uh, he's an interested person. And Oshomole, uh, Obaseki was saying that Oshomole should not be allowed to um, take part in the process, but it doesn't look like it's going that way because Oshomole and the National Working Committee at the moment, they are the ones that have put this committee together to screen all the aspirants. Uh, who are the aspirants? Obaseki is there, Ize Yamu is there. Pai Osodubu is there. We all know Chris Ogiwan is there. And um, they all, they, 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 there are six of them. They are all there. So we don't know how this is going to play out. But guys, um, we'll, we'll keep you updated as soon as we get um, updates. We know before the 22nd of June, we're going to be getting a lot of updates. We don't know where this thing is taking to. Yesterday, what we got was that um, um, the, all the six aspirants, um, their credentials were published at the National Secretariat in Abuja. So we'll bring our updates to you as soon as we get them. Thank you once again for listening. And please, guys, if you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. We really do appreciate you. And please, guys, uh, also share this news. We want everyone to be well informed about what's going on in our society and what's going on in a dose state as well thank you once again till i come your way again is bye for now and god bless